My name is Susan Arand. I'm an Emeritus faculty member in art at the Evergreen State College. I wanted to learn about the science of cirrus clouds because I've been attracted to their beautiful shapes and iridescence for a number of years. I worked independently, reading a number of scientific papers on cirrus clouds. I was fascinated to learn how important they are. Cirrus clouds are composed of ice crystals, not water droplets like other clouds. These crystals form around specific mineral and metal particles high in the air, including particles in jet airplane exhaust. Cirrus clouds are considered by some scientists as an index to industrial pollution in the atmosphere. Also lower clouds made of water droplets tend to reflect the sun's heat back into space, but the ice crystals of cirrus clouds scatter the light. And depending on the size and shape of the crystals, cirrus clouds can wind up holding more of the sun's heat in the atmosphere than reflecting it. Cirrus clouds are the roof of Earth's greenhouse. They play a pivotal role in scientists' efforts to understand and model Earth's climate and climate change. I chose the form of a flag book to evoke wispy blowing shapes of cirrus clouds. I made a hemispherical support on which to display the book so that the pages would wave in the air. To create the cloud imagery, I monoprinted images using an etching press, then tore the images into strips. The book starts and ends with sunrise and sunset colors with midday blue skies in the middle. Interspersed are translucent pages of text printed on vellum and pages of a sheer iridescent fabric, which also covers the outside of the book. The text of the book reads as follows. Water vapor glaciating into ice makes crystalline wisps that fall in translucent veils and blow in feathering streaks. Like curling wisps of hair above the spinning world, cirrus clouds swirl and stream 20,000 feet above. These angelic forms develop not as other clouds, but on nuclei of metals, Earth's heavy particles cast up by the smoking industry of cities. The invisible becomes visible iridescent and coloring in the setting sun, heavy matter becomes diaphanous beauty. A thin outer veil of the world, last before nothing, highest, widest, fastest, coldest, but holding heat, the warming morning. Mm -hmm.